All right, welcome to this uh, new video, which will be uh, this time about the night. Uh, just before I get started, uh, in the last video, if you were following along, I was working on my rooks. So rooks are now finished. Uh, and uh, let me just show you my four finished rooks. All right, so like you saw, uh, my rooks are uh, finished and uh, I'm pretty happy uh, uh, with uh, how they turned out. Uh, if you have been following my series so far, I made the board, uh, the 16 pawns, and now the four rooks are finished. So the next step is uh, is the knight, the, the infamous knight. So uh, because uh, since I, I got started on this project, the knight uh, has always been... Uh, a little worry for me because uh, obviously this uh, this piece is not uh, it's not like the other pieces uh, I can just I cannot just turn this piece so uh, I will show you in a minute how I made my knight so uh, I, I made one already uh, actually I made a few prototypes uh, I think I, uh, I did go through four uh, three or four prototypes before coming up with the the final one which is uh, Right here, welcome to my say, well, say hello to my brand new knight. Uh, this one is the final product. As you can see, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I did turn the base, and uh, the the head of the the knight, the the, the main part, is uh, was a bit of a challenge. But uh, like you will see, it, it's not that complicated when you uh, when when. when when the plan was uh, was uh, made so all right uh, first thing is uh, to make to actually make the night uh, I will uh, I will not start with a round uh, blank like I started for the other pieces I'm going to start with this uh, square blank here and uh, I'm gonna work with the square blank for a little while before actually turning the base because uh, for some reason later when I I'm gonna use the scroll saw to uh, to uh, to cut the profile of the knight uh, it is f a lot easier to to work on the scroll saw w when there is a flat surface uh, because when it's all rounded I tried it at first uh, uh, using the scroll saw with a round blank is really hard to uh, to manage you, you have to to hold it really tight and it's well it was a little uh, complicated to get it flat and to to uh, to make sure it didn't move while I was cutting so I'm gonna be using a square blank and uh, like you can see I already uh, did mark the center because uh, for obvious reasons that you are going to understand on the way it is really important that the hole that I'm gonna drill in a, in a minute uh, is a dead center to this blank and uh, to make sure it is centered what I did is uh, and what this is something that I, I did not do at first is that I used the planer uh, I actually got a planer uh, recently and it was a really um, a really good uh, uh, opportunity to use this planer and but and I used it to to make this blank uh, perfectly square because uh, since the beginning I've been using blanks just like this one right here which were really rough blanks and I did cut those blanks to two by two but I only used the table saw to do so so sometimes it was a little half uh, not exactly the same uh, dimension on each side so I used the planer to make sure it's perfectly square and it will allow me to uh, drill the hole at the dead center of this thing so 
I'm going to be using the scroll chuck to hold the, the square blank because actually you can use a scroll chuck to hold the square piece. And uh, the scroll chuck is able to hold it uh, uh, centered even if it's square. So just like that, uh, using each corner between the the parts of the of the chuck. So I'm going to chuck it like that and the first step is going to be to drill the hole at the bottom here so that I can uh, use my little jig right here to hold the, the piece the other way around. So I'm going to use this uh, this drill with the tailstock to, uh, to drill the hole at the bottom of this piece. I will do a first mark, uh, which is going to be a, it's going to be a 28 millimeter on my uh, on my piece, and I'm just going to use this tool to mark it all the way around. Because the, the blank is still square, so I can mark it with the late turning, like I'm used to. Like I said, this piece, this knight is a little more freestyle than the other ones. So, alright, now I'm gonna use the parting tool to actually uh, work some of the base, but not all of the base. Uh, I'm going to use the parting tool to reduce this portion Okay, so I think it's good for now. Uh, I can maybe just move it a little bit so you can see better. Uh, it's just like a little cone right here. So I'm gonna go on and remove it from the, the lathe and uh, position everything for the scroll saw part and get back. Okay, so uh, here I am at the scroll saw. This is what I'm gonna use to uh, to, to cut the design uh, the, and uh, I did experiment and I came up with this um, this sheet right here which uh, comes in two parts there is this pattern that I made for uh, that matches the the, the profile of, of the night and uh, this right here comes from a, uh, a photo of a night that I found on, um, on Google which I scaled to match my uh, the, 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 the dimension that I wanted because uh, the design that I'm using for my other pieces uh, was not gonna work from going to work for um, uh, for the night because all I had was the uh, the face view of the night and uh, obviously it wasn't enough and uh, I needed to uh, to to know the profile so here it is and uh, now I come to the part where uh, this is why at first I said that it was pretty important that this hole at the bottom was centered because uh, the hole is centered to uh, the, the part that I rounded on the lathe so and I want 
to cut the profile here centered on this base portion and this is why it is important that it's centered because now I'm able to just find the center of this part here and use it as a marker for my little pattern just like that and it makes sure that uh, the profile here is gonna match the center of the base so I'm just gonna go on and uh, apply some uh, some glue to this uh, this pattern and glue it on the on the actual piece and uh, the next step will be about uh, the actual cutting on the saw so I'll be right back So, you can see the, what are going to be the, the ears later. So, the next step is going to be about the same. It will be about cutting on the scroll saw, uh, at the, this time the profile of the head itself. Okay, so now we have the the basic shape of the knight, uh, which you can see right now. Uh, it's really rough right now. The corners are just uh, square, but with uh, a lot of sanding, it will become uh, more and more like this. So now I'm just gonna uh, clean up everything and. Uh, uh, it will be time to get back to, to the late to uh Okay, so uh, now the uh, the remaining of the the process is all about uh, filing and sanding the head, and it's all gonna be done uh, by hand. So it's gonna take a while. I'm just gonna uh, make it go faster on the video, of course. But uh, I will record everything and. Uh, you will be able to at least see it on fast forward. Uh, it took me about, I think there I have about uh, at least an hour of, of working on this piece uh, with sanding and uh, I, I do use some files at some points, but for the most part it's, uh, it's end sanding. So, all right, let's get working.
okay so now I'm about 15 minutes into this maybe 20 minutes so and it's really beginning to to take shape uh, I just wanted to stop a little bit to uh, to explain uh, a few seconds how I make uh, the uh, the mouth so as you can see in the profile uh, there is a little uh, notch right here which serves uh, for the mouth so I think you can see on the camera right now so it's just a little uh, gap here so I'm using uh, the saw to uh, make the go for the little notch at first just like that just make a little let me just see if it's the right place I think it looks looks good. So I will just make a little cut uh, about the depth of my saw, which is maybe uh, one eighth of an inch. So, and then I'm gonna go on and sand and use the the file to. Uh, to sand it and then it will just be a matter of sanding everything to make it uh, nice and round just like that so uh, let's fast forward again for, for the rest Okay, so I think I'm now almost done with the 150 grit. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the shape it's got right now. It looks uh, pretty similar to to my first one. So uh, the the main part is done, I think. So next, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna just use higher grit to make it even more smooth and uh, maybe correct a few uh, few things here and there but for the most part I think that's about it so Bye. 
Okay, I, I removed the, uh, the knife from the lathe because uh, I wanted to show you how to make the eyes. And uh, if you can see, uh, there's a little eye right here and another one on the other side. So this one is the new one. Uh, by the way, I'm pretty happy of how it turned out. It's pretty similar. And uh, I think all is, uh, is left now is to apply the finish. So, But just before that, I'm just gonna go on and uh, punch those highs because this is actually how I'm doing it. So I'm using a basic punch just like that with a hammer and I just position uh, by eyeballing where the eye goes and I just do a little punch right here. Don't want to go too hard because uh, it's easy to uh, to br damage the wood. By going gently uh, makes for a little high. So just going to do another one on the other side. You just punch this one a little deeper. Okay. And that uh, now we go for the next one. Which is going to be right here. Right, so eyes are done. As you can see it's just a matter of a little, a uh, little hole actually. Okay, so uh, it's all finished right now. Uh, it's really nice and smooth. You can feel it in the camera, but uh, I can tell you this uh, this stuff right here it makes for, makes up for an incredible finish because uh, uh, the wood is just like uh, really polished. And I really like what it does. So uh, the last step will be to to apply the actual finish, the OB Shine Juice that I've been using on my other pieces. So uh, let me just clean up a little bit and come back with uh, the uh, the finish setup, and I will show you uh, how I do that. Okay, so now everything is ready to apply the finish, which is uh, right here. This is my OB Shine Juice, basically, uh, like I explained uh, on earlier videos, just uh, some kind of French finish. Uh, boiled linseed hoy, uh, white shellac, and uh, denatural alcohol. Uh, each uh, one part uh, of each of those three uh, ingredients. And this is a little cotton. A disc that is uh, fixed to my Dremel tool and I would just go on like that and just before I go on I need to be really careful because this is applied uh, fixed to the Dremel using uh, something that looks really like a screw and it comes out at the top right here and it's really easy to uh, make a bad move and have this tip uh, touch the piece and this is bad because it makes a, uh, it breaks the wood and it um, it happened to me before so need to to be pretty uh, cautious while using the Dremel because this part and this here uh, anything that is not cotton 
uh, can ru ruin the piece really quickly while it turns. So I will just go on and apply a few more coats of this and rub it with the Dremel and then uh, come out for the final review. Okay, so here is the final piece. Uh, it's now all finished, all buffed everywhere. Uh, the shine juice is applied all over, and I'm really happy of how it turned out. Uh, let's just compare it for a second to the first one that I had. Uh, they look really similar. Uh, of course, there are little uh, differences here and there if you look really closely, but uh, this is uh, not really relevant because this is the matter of uh, doing it by hand. Those are, those are not uh, machine made. So here they are again, my uh, two finished white knights. So now I will have to make uh, two dark knights out of rosewood. I will uh, follow the same procedure that I just showed you. And uh, hopefully in a few days I will have to dark nights to, do, to go with those white ones and uh, slowly but surely this project is, uh, is moving forward and because after the knights I will be up for the bishops and then all is going to be uh, remaining are the, the queens and the kings so uh, this is moving really well and uh, I, I, I'm having a lot of fun doing this I, I hope you have at least uh, some of the fun that I have uh, <laughs> watching those videos. So again, here are my knights and uh, stay tuned for my next video which will be about the bishops. Thank you for watching.